Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on the song Hardest to Be from Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Phantom Liberty. It's a cool track, someone requested it on one of my other videos, and I'd listened to it today and I thought, great sounding track, easy to play, so I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, Leave me some comments in the comment section. I love to hear from you. Let me know what songs I should do next. Let me know if you played the new game. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, if you'd like to know more about music theory, I've got my new music theory for a guitarist course on my Patreon page. Links in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the intro, first uh, two bars, go like this, rest. So to play that, it's based on a D minor chord. We've got second finger, you can use whichever finger, but try using these fingers. Second finger on B6, third finger on D7, and little finger on G7. And we can go down, up, it starts on B2, so it goes rest. So rest, down, up. And then put your first finger flat across the D, G and the B strings at the 5th fret and you can go down up for a C chord. So D, G and B strings at the 5th fret, two hits going down up. So the first bar goes rest. Into bar 2 and we've got an F chord which is your first finger on G5, second finger on B6 and third finger on D7. So you've got D7, G5, and B6. One hit on that, down, and then we're gonna do a B flat chord with your first finger flat across the D, G, and the B strings at the third fret. So from the F to the B flat goes. So quite a quick jump there. So bars one and two together go three, four, rest. And they repeat three times, bars one and two, and then you carry on into bar three, uh, where we've got this rest. So for that, just the D minor twice, then the C twice, and then just hits a B flat, so it doesn't have the F, it's just a B flat on beat one of bar four, and it lasts for two bars. So bars three and four, here we go. One, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So hopefully that intro makes sense. You play bars one and two, you repeat that round three times, and then you carry on and play bars three, four, and five. And that takes us to the verse. Now, the first, um, two bars of the verse. You could play exactly the same as the intro, but I've just added an extra note onto these first two chords. So I've gone like this, rest. So on my D minor chord, I've added my first finger onto A5, second finger B6, third finger D7, little finger on G7. And down, up. And then on the C chord, I'm using my third finger flat, across the D, G and the B strings at the third fret, oh, sorry, fifth fret, and my first finger goes on A3. So first finger A3, third finger across D, G and the B strings at the fifth fret, down up. So bar six goes rest. And bar seven, I've left exactly the same. So I've just added those extra notes. You don't have to play those extra notes on the A string on in bar six, it's up to you, just as options. So, bars six and seven, go like this, rest. And again, that repeats around three times. Um, and then in bars eight and nine, same idea, D minor, C, and then it goes down to B flat, where I've added my first finger onto A1. So A1 with D3, G3, and B3. But like I say, you don't have to put your finger on that. You could just play the D, G, and the B strings at the third fret. So bars eight and nine go rest. Two, three, four. 
That then all repeats, and you go back to the beginning of that line and play bars six and seven three times, and then bars eight and nine, and then bars 10 and 11 are the same as bars eight and nine. It just does it again, so you've got the rest. So hopefully that makes sense. So bars six and seven, repeat three times, then you play bars seven and uh, then bars eight and nine. And then you repeat back and play bars six and seven three times, play bars eight and nine, and then play bars 10 and 11. That takes us to the only other part we need to uh, learn, which is the chorus, which goes like this. So for that D minor chord, two hits going da, da. On the C chord, you're gonna go down, up, down, down. So bar 12. F chord, same way we played it before, three hits. Then to the B flat, so it goes. So F, 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 B flat, B flat. I've just chose to just use my first finger flat rather than trying to get the A string in there as well. Um, so bars 12 and 13 go. And that repeats three times. Uh, then at the end of the chorus, we've got this. So bar 14, you've got G minor chord, third finger, D5, first finger across the G and the B strings at the third fret. Four hits. Then three hits on the B flat. Make the last one short. Um, and then it just jumps back to the intro, then the verse. It only does the verse like um, the first two bars repeated three times, and then the D minor, C, B flat. So you don't do that extra bit on the end. Uh, and then it's just a chorus till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson and found it useful, especially the person who requested it. Thanks for the request. Um, it's a cool little song. If you have enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video. That really helps hopefully get some more views, as does um, leave me some comments. So just say hi in the comments if you want to say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from, what you thought of the video. Uh, let me know if you played the new game. If there's any more songs from it, then let me know and I'll, I'll do those as well. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also, I've got my new music theory for guitarist course on my Patreon page, so you can go and check that out as well. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.